Wilkie. We are very tight. Stand up, stand up. This is Christine's, Christine's, Christine's Carver. Marvellous. And um, we were very taken with this, not least because, now this is a, a Christine's brief and her philosophy was to try and run through the idea of sustainability and ecology right through almost every single component the whole way down to of the, the garden. Even to the, to the tiniest component, which is the first thing we looked at, which is the gravel. gravel. Yeah. Which is this gravel, which is gravel. It's not, it's not gravel, gravel, it's chopped up old toilets. And stuff. More than that, you've, you, you found a little bit of teapot. Yes, I found a little spoon, a little handle of a teapot. It's, it's, it's awesome. ceramic. It's ground up ceramic. All you I found was toilets. You found something. No, no. But it looks like it looks like gravel, doesn't it? But it's um, it looks it remarkable. Feels, it like. feels like gravel. It's very, and very it's clear. Clear as well as gravel yeah, too. Yeah, it's yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Solid stuff. And I was really taken with her planters. Now the planters, she, there's a material made in Italian ceramics factory which is three millimetres thick and it's a new type of ceramic tile that it's used for cladding buildings and it comes in three metre by one metre sheets. Huge, it's really strong this stuff. Um, Christine commissioned some special some things. planters made from it. So they look, people keep saying to her apparently that they think they're made out of plastic but they're not. They're yeah. ceramic. Much so nicer. they'll last forever. They're brilliant, lightweight, really strong. Recycled. It's a really, really good idea. It's one of the things that we picked up from this. That there's some really good ideas in here that we haven't seen before, basically. Yeah, and the bee, no, the bee, the bee um, things. you'll be familiar if you go to your garden centre, you can buy these little bits of bamboo glued together, a little wooden house, all very tweed, little bee houses you can hang on your wall to attract minor bees and, and other varieties. There are dozens and dozens of species. There are lots of bees. We have to be very nice to them. Yeah, yeah, we do, because they're, they're suffering. Otherwise we die. With Ruhr and, and, and so, yeah, yeah, well, uh, 70% of the world's Sorry, I don't crops are, 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 are fertilised by bees. Yeah. So, so I thought, well, hang on, we're what Christine this. done, I yeah. thought she'd gone yeah. out and I thought she'd bought some, but it turns out she'd designed them and had them made, and they're beautiful. And she doesn't call them bee houses, but uh, pop up bee, bee shoe boutique hotels. So she's very nice. Very nice. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good. That's really so, so, okay, we move on. Two.